I don't want to stop the song at all. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna to be reacting to the new Dane song, New Ground. Now, some of you guys have seen my other videos reacting to Dane and how much I've really, really enjoyed uh, listening to her music. And she's gonna be releasing a, a mixtape soon. It's called Quantum Jumping and it comes out March 18th. And this is gonna be very interesting. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Um, yeah, I've just, I've really enjoyed everything I've heard so far and I still haven't heard everything yet because I kind of want to save it for videos and stuff and, and, and yeah. So we're gonna check out uh, New Ground, her uh, brand new song. But before we get into it, make sure to check out the state of the scene, the best alternative music podcast out there. You can go check them out by clicking the link in the description down below. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to click that subscribe button. And if you can click that join button, it really helps me out as well. The Apparently, like, there are a lot of clips from, like, I'm guessing fans. I'm just seeing a lot of people in the in the comments talking about that, so that's really interesting. That's gonna be cool to see. Okay, this is New Ground by Dane. Let's go. Mm, very pleasant. <laughs> That's not what I expected the song to go just at first, but this is okay. Interesting. The only thing I can think of right now is the, um, oh, what's the, what's the, it was, wh what Dance Gavin Dance song was it? Where like a lot of fans sent in um, clips like this of them doing stuff. Oh, I can't remember what song it was now. Was it Three Wishes? I think it was. I think it was Three Wishes. <laughs> That's a fun lyric. This video is so trippy. It's such a chill kind of song. I, I really enjoy it. It's got a little bit of like a chill rock vibe going in addition to all the other influences um, that she takes from. And yeah, it's really nice. She's looking at the lyrics in the chorus here. Walk by me in the clouds. I'm trying to make it out. You see me breaking new ground. I'm going to blow up. Got to keep making more sounds. I love that. I love when people describe it as like making sound. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's like, there's just a few examples of that. What's the part in, um, yeah, it's in Sick of the Sun by Poppy where, where uh, yeah, where she sings like, I, I need to find the right sound. Something uh, I can say that I found. I don't know. Something about that. Just like that lyric sticks, um, I don't know, it sticks out to me in it. I'm gonna go. Such a cozy song. <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> was that was that baby Yoda in the video there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. <laughs> This is such a cute video. I love it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> You're such a fake when we go out. You're here but only to chase cloud. It doesn't matter what I say to you cuz you only give a fuck about the sign or shoes. <laughs> I don't want to stop the song at all. I'm just like so into it. Love the production as well. As always, you know. <laughs> Ooh. 
I love this. Hmm. <laughs> that was so cool i love that <laughs> there's something so wholesome about the entire thing even though i felt like this was similar to i don't care in a way where it's kind of like a pretty much it like it kind of is a fuck you song but it's such like a i don't know it's a wholesome version <laughs> probably also enhanced by you know the music video i'm also i i, I keep thinking as well about the song weird by Youngblood. Both like the song itself, like the, the, just the same feel, but also the music video just gives me like the same vibes, the same like really cozy, just like nice vibe. This song is like good vibes, uh, but fuck you. Did I say blow up before when I read the chorus? <laughs> I, 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 may, I may have, it's glow up. I gotta listen to it again. <laughs> oh, I'm so in love with the sound. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be difficult to choose one song um, by her that will be like my favorite this year. Cause honestly, from all the songs that I've reacted to, I can't I can't pick a favorite, to be honest. I, I, I just can't. And I know this is only the third video I'm doing. I cannot choose between those three songs. I just adore all of them in, in, in like in each unique way. It's impossible for me to, to choose one. It's really nice to hear how different every song is as well, because I really don't feel like I'll get sick of, of this sound whatsoever. Not anytime soon anyway. And she says in the songs that she gotta make, keep making more sounds. So I guess we can expect a bunch of random shit. <laughs> I say random, but not in like a, oh, just throw everything, whatever, into songs, but I mean more just like experimentation, a lot of experimentation with different, different ideas and stuff. And I think that's, I think that's one of the biggest appeals of this. Like, I, I just think it's, I think it's pretty creative. I think it's unique. I also really enjoyed the lyrics here. Like I, I, I talked about that in one, in, in my last video where like the lyrical style is very like, <laughs> like directed at a, a person specifically. And I, I just really enjoy the way she writes that. But then also like you got lyrics like, yeah, you promised you'd always be my homie, but you ghost me. And I know now you're a phony, just a drop kick my DMs acting horny. You got lyrics like that, which are really fun. But then you also got more, how should I describe it? Like grand lyrical themes or whatever. Even in this song with like walk by me in the clouds, I'm trying to make it out. Like even just a line like that is so different from the verse. I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know. How, I don't know how to talk about it. Okay. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I really enjoy the guitars. They're very like fucking angelic. Every time I say angelic, I just keep thinking of that fucking Corey Feldman album and <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you get my point. So yeah, March 18th. Uh, this is this is one of my like most anticipated projects. Really excited for it. I think it's going to be one of my, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to listen to it a lot <laughs> this year. And apparently it's described in a statement as both a chronological timeline of the very first songs she wrote at the age of 16 and Tombstone to her adolescence. That's very cool as well. Yeah, overall, it's it's just, it's an, it's a, it's a thing you know, you know I'll, I'll be able to talk more about it one, once it drops right so right now all i can do is just kind of say that i'm really excited about it and i think it's going to be a fun project to listen to and it's probably going to end up pretty high on my like best of whatever this year i just have a feeling that was just fucking wholesome as fuck let me know what you guys think of the song in the comments down below and also thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new also make sure to click that join button it really helps me out thank you thank you follow me on twitter instagram and join my discord server all the links will be in the description down below in addition to everything from the state of the scene also let me know what other bands and artists you want me to talk about review react to and i will see you guys later